Hey, how you doing? Uh, so maybe someone can help me out here. Earlier today, I got my brand new VESC. I decided to plug it in and try programming. Um, so I started here, and I put in the uh, I put in the limits that were recommended to me by Dexter. That should be 120 from Torque Boards. So, <coughs> excuse me. I've set my motor max and motor min to uh, 80 or negative 80. Battery max to 25 and battery min to 12. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've also set my voltage limits because I'm using a 6S battery. I've left my minimum, or sorry, my minimum to 8 volts, my maximum to 57, um, just so they don't get in the way of anything. And uh, and I've set my minimum input voltage, um, maximum input voltage, battery cutoff start at 22 and battery cutoff end at 20 for a 6S uh, calculated that's about what it should be I really haven't changed any other settings and for whatever reason when I use my arrow keys I can actuate it but you see it just kind of jitters it doesn't really move as it should so let me go back into my program and then go down to the BLDC tab where I can start detection. And it just kind of does this every time. Uh, I'm probably do it one more time. And then at the bottom, it says bad motor detection results. Detection failed. Also, if I go into FOC, I can measure my RNL. It'll do that without a problem. Well, when I go to calculate that, same thing. Bad detection results. Um, there are no faults. go to terminal you can type fault and it should give you any faults and every time I just get fault code none so I'm not sure what I'm missing here I've also noticed my real-time data seems to I'm not an electrical engineer I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for particularly here but I'm looking for a pattern and it looks like it's spiking pretty hard from some of the tutorial videos I've noticed that there's their waveforms seem more even um, than mine my looks to just shoot kind of everywhere um, when actuated in either direction I get a lot of noise So I'm wondering if there's somebody that can help me figure this out. Um, like I said, I just reinstalled the firmware as per uh, Dexter's recommendations from Torque Boards. Uh, I spoke with him for a while, but he had to go. Uh, he was busy with something else. And uh, I actually had it detect the motor earlier today, but it only did it once. Um, since then I reloaded default configuration and I'm wondering if something in the default configuration changed to make this setup not work so uh, again if you guys have any ideas I would love to hear your input uh, again I'm running a 6s battery and uh, 60, 64 63 245 kilovolt sk3 motor um, all EC5 connectors throughout Thanks, guys.